In this video, we're going to take a look at the color factory for Corel Draw. We're going to specifically look at the duotone with color feature. And this is really a new type, I guess you could say, of working with bitmaps and monochromes and color. And you can do some really incredible designs and effects with it. And we're going to take a look at that in this video. And it's actually one of my favorite features. And I'll just scroll down here, and we can see some of these designs. Now, these are just duotones, and we've got a lot of duotones in the actual plugin. But here I have an image of Maryland. Now, when you're working with this, depending on whether you're working to go to print or design for printing on dark shirts or light shirts, there's two different versions of this feature in the plugin. There is color invert, duotone with color invert, and duotone with color. Now, if you're going on to a dark shirt, you're typically going to want an image with a black or a dark background that you can turn black. And you'll also want to be able to, and I'm going to go ahead and close my properties bar here, verify that with the eyedropper. Is that a full black and it's zero, zero, zero? That's completely black. So that's going to work perfect for what I want to do. And you can see some of the effects here on this Maryland design. I mean, look at that. That's amazing compared to working with Vector. And you can do this with sports designs and all kinds of things. And here I've got, I've taken this and I've created kind of a glitch effect. And glitch is really, really popular right now. It's totally trending in graphic design. You're seeing it everywhere. And here I've got a sports design. This is just black, orange is the color, and the yellow of the shirt. So you've got just a two-color print, but look what you get. A guy with a two-color press that can hold halftones and registration could print at this level. And that's really what this is about, is getting these prints to the level that they're stepping outside of the arena of vector and you're making these guys working with just vector look like they're just not even in your league. And we can see the same thing here with this Renegade Customs and we saw that in the anatomy of monochrome video. So what I'm going to do to get started here is I'm just going to go ahead and I'll grab this blue t-shirt comp and I'll duplicate this over here. Left click, hold down, right click one time, that'll give me the duplicate. I'll take the Maryland Monroe photo, I'll select that and I'll go to my color factory. I'm going to go with duotone with invert and I'll click on that and that will process. It'll take just a minute. What it does is it goes through and pulls the black away from the image so we have the black and then there's the color but it turns all the color to one color. So you've got two colors, you've got the black and the color. And you can work with those. Now that doesn't look like much because there's white in the background. You can't see it. I'm going to lasso that. Make sure I've got two objects selected. And then I'll bring this over here on top of the blue shirt. And you can see that. You can see that image. Just two colors working with the monochrome. Now the color on top, and I'll go to the object manager. Which is over here somewhere. Or did I close it? Let me see. No, I closed it, so I'll go ahead and open it. There we go. Now you can see we've got the split color foreground. And here we've got the color behind it, which is white. That's the split color background. So this image is always set to red. But we can go to our color docker. And let me see if that's open. Is my color docker open? It's open somewhere here. Where, where do we go with that? Oh, we're right here. That's the color docker. And actually, I'm going to go with the active tab here. Left click, hold down, bring that out. And I'll resize that just a bit. And now with that locked, I'm going to go here to the view color. This is over in the red. Left click, hold down so I can see these. I'm going to change that up into like the orange. And I'll select outline. You can see that effect. Let me come over here and lock this. And I'll just slide a little bit more down into the red. Now it's going to go to the fill, go to the color palette, and get rid of that. And I'll bring this with the outline set a little bit more down into the red. And you can see that effect. Just two colors working off the darkness of the shirt. Now to make some different looks, I can take this, lasso and select everything in the bitmap. I'll resize that a bit. I can bring that over here, duplicate it. And I could go to the color again, and I could go through and change that color. I want to stay in the pure color. I'll go up into like the cyans or the blues or something like that. Get a really different look there. 
do the same thing, select here again, and create another copy of the Maryland design or the Maryland monochrome there. And I'll select everything, just hit the B key to bottom everything and line it up. Now that I've got all this on the shirt set up, I can go to my transparency tool, left click, pull down, hold down control to keep that straight and add some transparency into that for effect. And you can see the look that I can get with that. I'll take this Marilyn Monroe. This is already a monochrome bitmap. I can bring this over here and just drop that right on top and resize that and give that, say, a white. And we'll do that with a right click. And I've got that look there. Now I could go in to duplicate that, move it a little bit, give that the blue of the shirt, and you can see the effect of the monochrome fashion style design done very easily and very quickly working with that. Now here, here we want to take a look. There we took a look at the inverted, and that's what we saw here. Same thing, inverted. We invert the black, and we keep the color. So it goes on to colored garments very nicely. Now here I'm looking at this basketball player white background. Now we're going to go without the inverted. So I'm going to duplicate this shirt over here and I'll take this basketball player and I'm going to go back to my color factory. Now I'm going to go duotone with color. Remember, if we're dealing with a dark shirt, we're going to want a black or a dark background. If we're dealing with a white shirt, we're going to want a white background. Or we could easily trace the image out, give it a white or a black background by removing the background from the actual image. But here I'll just go duotone with color and let that process. And I'll take just a second and there we go. Now because I've got the red and his color is already orange, I can see this here. I'll just bring this over on top of the shirt and you can see the look that I can get on that player. Now here if I was printing this, I'd have a white base and I'd have the orange and then I'd interlock the black halftones if I was screen printing, but for your D2G sublimation, etc., you wouldn't need that. And you can go to the shirt color, and even that, we can go to, let's say, the fill, go with the yellow, go back here, and we can start to look at what this will look like on different colored shirts, over to the white, instead of working with the monochrome comp for the t-shirt. Go up into the cyans, bring this into a light blue, and we can see now here we're playing off the color of the shirt, the black, and the color that's in the image. And we can see how that works. And I go to the outline here and I'll make that, let's say, a darker blue for the shading. Something like that. I'm doing the shading for the actual garments. And I'll go back down to the fill here and we'll come back down into the yellows. Let's go into the naturals, let's say, and then I'll go to the fill excuse me, the outline, I'm going to bring that down into the orange and I'll bring that into a shadow. And then if I had some vector for my text or whatever, I could just bring that over and I didn't want to do that, I'll hit Control Z. What I want to do is select this and get the X in the center. Then left click, hold down and I can bring that over and set that design up. And I'll hit Control X and Control V just so that's on top of the t-shirt. But you can see how working with the feature of the dual tone with color, both the invert and the regular feature, we can set up these incredible designs. I mean, here I've got one set up with Marilyn Monroe, and it's the same thing here. I'll bring this over here, and I'm just going to resize this a little bit. And I'll grab one of her, which is here, put that in the center right there, resize that a bit. and zoom in there, move my color docker. Now here I've got the color, I can tell by looking in the taskbar, that's the color object. I wanna hold down Alt and select the object behind it. Go to the X, you can see that right there. Left click, right click one time, see the plus sign, I'm gonna duplicate that. And that's gonna go over there. And then I'm gonna right click on this and select order. Go to in front of, you can't see it, but I'm gonna put that on the shirt, bring that over a little bit, kind of like that. As you can see there, and I'm just getting really different looks as I experiment with these. And I'll do the same thing here. And then I'll right click on that. I'll go to order in front of, and I'll click on the shirt. Then I'll select, hold down shift, I'll select both of these. 
go to my outline and I'll unlock this and I'm going to change my outline color. I'm going to come down into that's kind of like a purple shirt. So I might want like a tint of the purple and I'm going to be sure I'm going to outline and apply that. You can see that I can lock that now, left click and start to move around and just see what goes on with different color there. Now that's not working because I'm on the fill and I want to be on the outline. Although, no, yeah, I want to be on the fill. Sometimes even I get confused. I'm going to left click for transparency. That's too dark. I'm going to come up in here to the lighter colors and select outline and you can see that effect. And once again, I could go and get the signature, just left click and lasso, bring that over. And you can see that effect. Now for the glitch, I can go with the color and I can bring some of that over and change that and you can see the glitch effect starting to take form in the design, which is really interesting because glitch is so popular now and bring some of that over and I'll hit control Z actually maybe just one will be enough something like that and I could do the same here with say this object here bring that over and I could go with something like a white on that and you can see the glitch effect starting to be built into that design so we can do so many things with these and I'm going to go change this to say a lighter I'll go with the outline on that and you can see that effect or I could go with something darker outline you can see that effect now that doesn't really work very well I might go into something over in the blues outline and you can see the effect so you can start to get really cool glitch effects really nice photographic designs working with just a few colors and getting what's popular in the market today, duotone and the glitching and all these things are really trending. Working with the tools in the color factory from advanced t-shirts for your apparel design. This applies really to everything. I mean, you can do screen printing, direct to garment, sublimation, even your signage, brochures, magazines, everything. All of these effects apply to all of that because these are the things that are trending in graphic design today. We'll wrap here and we'll see you in our next session.